little, uh, you know, enough for myself. If I had extra, I would. But. So, are there any other questions? Yes. Um, I wanted to know about washing fruit, for example, before you cut it up and dry it. Is there any special preparation that you do in the leaves? I'm sorry. And the leaves. Oh. No. Myself, personally, on our farm, unless it has a ton of dirt on it, I don't wash it. Dirt, depending on where it came from, is good for you. <laughs> All the dirt in our house is organic. We don't use any chemical fertilizers or anything, you know, miracle Grow, none of that stuff. So if there was a little dirt on something, I'm not going to freak out. If you get it from the farmer's market or somewhere else and you're not sure how it was grown, don't ever be afraid to ask. Most farmers, if they are growing things the way things should be grown, will not have any problem telling you that. Um, but just not to be safe, always wash things. Anything that you think has been sprayed, always wash with a little vinegar with your cold water because that will help remove a little bit more residue. But anything I have at my house, like this basil, I picked it out of my garden this morning and put it in there. It's been raining all day. It's already been washed off, in my opinion. But whatever you feel safe with. So. Are you using the white vinegar or the cider vinegar? I just have white vinegar. You can use cider vinegar. It doesn't matter. Just the, either one. Huh? Yeah. Okay. It's there's really no difference. I mean, there is a difference in the vinegar, but as far as for washing off things, it doesn't matter. Either or is fine. Yes. Two questions. Sir had a workshop on dried beans, so and she gave us some and I grew some. Mm -hmm. Would you tell me what to do next? What is in uh, there? Dried it's, beans. It's the uh, green beans. Oh, Cherokee black uh, whole bean. So your whole bean is it? Was this for seed saving? Is it, yeah, it's for seed saving. Okay. Well, once they're dry, that pod will easily pop open. And you can just keep the seeds, um, keep them to, in a dry, dark place. You know, you don't want light getting to them. You don't want extreme heat or cold. Should you put them in the freezer if you're not sure if there's a uh, good glass jar. Dead pops open. Yeah. So you can just take the seeds out now and just keep them in a jar or a bag and keep them someplace dry. I not eat very many beans. <laughs> <laughs> I would not store them in plastic. I'd store them in glass it's best but if you don't i'm a canner so i always have jars around but if you don't have jars it actually makes soup freeze the soup yes and the other i can't remember the plant um oh we go tea from uh what is that hummingbird farm bee bomb yeah oh okay from the bee bomb you can make tea from it? Can yes. you? Uh, uh, sure. Yeah. Most any mint. I think it's a yes. Mint. You can do uh, that. Fresh or dried. It yeah. doesn't matter. Monarda is the right name. Yeah, Monarda. Yeah. So I picked some, um, and I thought it looked a little fungusy on the underside. It was a little gray. I'm not sure. I'm not very familiar. I mean, I know what bee balm is, but I've never made tea from it. But if people told you you can, I'm sure you can. What is the best outdoor weedy thing to use for tea? I like mint. That's my favorite one because it has the most um, cold and flu properties to help you fight cold and, or cold and flu. So that's my favorite. Sage is also a great one. It's probably one step down from mint for me. And you could use it dry or fresh? Yes. How about winter saber beetle? I'm not familiar with that. Lemon balm. Yeah, lemon balm is nice. Anyone else? Mindy, would you like to share how you make a wonderful stock and you put a little bit of vinegar in it? Oh, a woman taught me um, if you have bones and you're wanting to make soup stock, if you put a little vinegar in, it will help leach all those nutrients out of the bone into your stock, and it makes it a much more healthier, richer 
soup stock. So say you get a chicken, you know, and you roast it up for dinner, and then you want to throw it in a pot later and cook it off for soup purposes, just put a little vinegar in there, and it'll help leach all those nutrients out of the bone into your soup stock. How much vinegar? Um, I never really made, I'm not a measurer, I'm sorry. I know some people are really fanatic about measuring, but I just put like a shot in, depending on how big, you know, if you have a really big thing of bones, you're cooking down, like we recently had a bunch of beef bones we had to cook down, and some of them were quite large. So I put like a healthy, you know, not, I wouldn't say a cup, you know, I didn't stand there and pour it in, but probably about a quarter of a cup. But that was for a huge, you know, if you're just doing a chicken, just put like a shot in. Well, I suppose you could just drop a few of your beans, hard, dry beans, into the soup. Sure. But would you have to soak them first? Well, if you're first doing a stock thing, by the time they've soaked with that and you make your soup, that's probably been plenty of time to reconstitute them. But if you were just wanting to throw them into something once you were done, of course you'd want to soak yeah, them. Yeah, you have stood at the start. Yeah. So these are just like the dried beans you buy at the grocery store. Pretty much, yeah. Good to look on that package. And I've always had more success soaking the beans overnight. Soak the beans overnight. Do you put anything in when you soak them overnight? It depends on what your taste is. Some people put a little salt. It just depends. Did you have a question? I just wanted to say her bread is the best bread. It's the only bread I buy and the only bread I eat. And a loaf will stay in the, I, in the refrigerator all week. I've never had any mold. I freeze it. When I take a slice out, it's fine. I've also had the lab, er, lavender cake, which is very good. I've also had all her homemade muffins and brownies and cookies. <laughs> and there's not one thing that I can oh, say I just like. <laughs> I, I go there every week unless I know that I've got enough to get me through the week. And. Uh, I, her bread is, I won't eat any, anything else. Oh, thank you. And just on what Jeanette said, I don't know why this is, and I've never really checked into it, but my bread stays fresh longer than store bread, which is full of preservatives and meant to stay fresh longer. No, I've never it had will sit bread. out just as long as store bread would, and store bread always starts molding first. Hmm. I don't know why that is, but... Just and I to, buy the, uh, if you could make your own bread, I highly recommend it. You'll be addicted. You won't ever want store bread again. <laughs> Do you prefer a freezer or a refrigerator if you're not going to use the bread right away? I like to freeze it. All my breads freeze well. Um, I, I mean, Jeanette can keep hers in the fridge and she's fine with that. Some people find it tends to dry things out if it's been in there for a while. So it's just what your preference is, but I do freeze if we can't get to it right away. Yeah, I but like that to doesn't happen too often at my I like house. to keep one frozen that way if I, I know I don't run short. And what yeah. I do is slice it before I put it in there and then I just take a slice take out, out at a time. That's a great idea. Go to a freezer. Do you make a piece some rye bread? No, what, Desum? I'm not familiar with that. Oh, it takes like four days, five days to make the starter. There's no meat in it at all. It's just pure organic rye. Okay, I'll have Is to check it into that. Bread? If you drop it on your foot, you have to break the foot. Okay. <laughs> oh, no. It's magnificent. Okay. I have a lot. Of, is that like an older okay. traditional okay. recipe? Okay. Old German. I do make a dark pumpernickel bread, but it doesn't take days. It's just like, you know, making regular bread, letting it rise. But that has three rising times as opposed to two with normal bread. So, it doesn't make it too often. But it is yeah, because it's hard to fit in with my, yes, because of the three rising times. So. I'm interested in trying sourdough bread. We had sourdough as one of the breads we eat today. And yes. I'm wondering, um, if you have advice for me to like get started with like my own starter and things like that? Um, the starter is pretty easy to make. If you can't get to it right away, just refrigerate it. It'll stay fine. In the